In this video, we're going to see how we calculate standard deviation in Excel. And for this video, I'm using the same data that I used in section 3.1, which is the measures of center data that is posted in your Blackboard shell. So there are two different ways we can calculate standard deviation. We can calculate the standard deviation of a population, or we can calculate standard deviation of a sample. And it depends on what type of data you're working with as to which one you should calculate. So this data is commute times. It's from students. We don't technically know if this was all of the students in a class, so it would be the population data, or if it was some of the students in a class or some of the students on a campus, so it would be sample data. So since we don't know, we're going to do it both ways just for practice. So to calculate the standard deviation of a population, we use the function equals stdev.p, p for population, highlight all of your data, close parenthesis, enter. So the standard deviation, if we're assuming this was population data, is 19.1062. If we're pretending it's sample data, we do equals stdev.s, s for sample, open parenthesis, highlight all of your data, then close parenthesis, enter. And what you'll see is that the sample standard deviation is slightly bigger than the population standard deviation. And that's because the difference between the two formulas is the denominator. The sample standard deviation formula has an n minus 1 in the denominator, which makes the whole fraction slightly bigger. That gives us a very slight overestimate because we realize this is a sample. It's not an exact match to the population. And we would rather slightly overestimate to say, hey, there's probably a little bit more fluctuation in the data than this sample is necessarily saying, than claim that this or is the numbers of the whole population and be a little um, under. So the sample standard deviation is always just slightly bigger than the population standard deviation if you're calculating it on the same data. So let's do these again for the student ages. Again, we're going to calculate the STDEV for the population and then for the sample. We don't know where the data came from, so we're going to pretend it's both. So our population standard deviation function is equals STDEV.p open parenthesis, highlight your data, close parenthesis, enter. And then if it was a sample, we would do equals stdev.s, open parenthesis, highlight your data, close parenthesis, enter. And again, we can see our sample standard deviation is just slightly bigger than our population standard deviation.